Well, what would an intros, riffs, and licks series be without something from ACDC? These guys have some of the greatest riffs, simplest and greatest, out there. We're going to take a quick look here at Highway to Hell and just a couple different ways of, of, of uh, fingering it. Really important thing about a lot of ACDC tunes, but also a lot of riff songs, riff-based songs like this in general, you want to get used to strumming in a kind of controlled area, not hitting all six strings, really aiming for three or four sometimes, and muting other ones. So we're playing an A chord here, and I'm playing the A with a, with a hinge bar, my first finger flattened out across the second fret, at the second, third, and fourth strings. I don't even care about the first string. It can be dead, it could even be flattened out like that, although that's, that's harder to get that note clean at the second fret. Doesn't matter, because down here, I'm really aiming for three strings, the fifth, fourth, and third. And it's just, you're pounding downs on all of these. So those first three eighth notes, if you're looking at the tab there, those first three eighth notes are played on the last three eighth note beats of the measure. That would be the and of three, four, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. So you're playing just into, into beat one. Now, the D with F sharp in the bass, there's a couple different ways we can play this. And you, if, you, if you're looking carefully, watching my left hand at all, when I played it just a second ago there, I was playing it with my thumb wrapped around the bottom of the neck. Or, I call that the bottom, but because it's the lower strings. So my thumb is wrapped around playing the F sharp on the sixth string at the second fret. And I'm using my second and fourth fingers to fret the D chord up here. Now, I could do this with my first finger as well. So if you're not comfortable using your thumb in this baseball bat position, go ahead and use your first finger. You just got to get used to using one, two, and four for this. That would be the best fingering because for the G chord that we're going to, we want to leave your fourth finger where it is on the second string and just get your third finger down to the sixth string.